define C++ objects. So at first we shall consider what are the real life or real world objects. So let us consider one space here. So there is one plot, a land plot say, which is having a width and length. So if we define one class against this particular real world object, then we shall be keeping this width and length as its variables. And to calculate this area, I shall have to use this formula that is two dimensional area will be length into width. Let us consider another real world object. Let it be a box. So that is a box here. And this box has got three dimensions that is length, breadth and the respective height. So we are having three things. One is the length, another one is the breadth or we can also call it as width another one is the height. So to calculate the volume of this object, this particular real world object that is a box, we shall have to use the formula like volume is equal to width into height into length. So that is length into width into height will be the respective volume, calculated volume of this box. So here we have considered the real world objects here. So now a class provides the blueprints of objects. So basically an object is created from a class. We declare objects of a class with exactly the same sort of declaration that we declare variables of some basic data types. So if you go for this one, we define one integer variable in this way INTI semicolon. Here we are going to define box1 and box2 two, two objects under the class box using this declaration that is box, box1, box, box2. Obviously, they are to be supposed to be terminated by semicolons. Both of the objects box1 and box2 will have their own copy of data members. So, box1 will have the, its own width, length and height and they will have some different set of values. And box2 will also have the three data members that is length, width and height and they will have some distinct set of values to initialize them. The public data members of objects of a class can be accessed using the direct member access operator. So here this operator is dot or period. Let us try the following example here. So I think let us go for one example for the detailed understanding. So class box public section is there and we are having three data members. So all of them of the type double and they are length, breadth and height. So three data members. Now we are in the main function, we have defined two objects under the class box. So box, box one, box, box two. So two objects have got declared under the class box here. So volume, double volume is equal to 0, 0.0. So volume is a variable which is of the type double initialized with the value 0, 0.0 there. Now box1 dot height, box1 dot length and box1 dot breadth, they have got initialized with the set of values both for box1 object and for box2 object. As they were declared under the public section, so these member variables will be accessible outside of the class also, but within the scope of the respective object. So volume is equal to box1 dot height into box1 dot length into box1 dot breadth and see out we are printing this value of this volume. And in this way we are also calculating the volume for box2 height multiplying box2 height box2 dot length and box2 dot breadth. The, so the respective three data members are multiplied to get the respective volume and this volume has got printed here. So here we have defined one class that is the name of the class is box having got three data members under the section public and we declared two objects box1 and box2 under the class box and then we initialize all those data members accessing them using dot. So for both box1 object and for box2 object we calculated the volume for box1 object and also calculated the volume for box2 object and both these two volumes have got printed. I think to have a better conception, let us go for one practical demonstration where we shall 
show you the program code, we shall compile it, run it and discuss on the topic again for your understanding. So, here is the demonstration for you. Let us discuss on this very program. Here we have defined one class, the name of the class is box. Under the public scope, we have defined three variables of double type, length, breadth and height of the respective box. In the main function, we have defined two objects under the class box. So these objects are box1 and box2. Also we define one volume variable under the data type double initialize with value 0, 0.0. So the first object box1, the respective uh, attributes that means the member variables length, breadth and height, they have got initialized with the respective values. Similarly, we did the same for box2 object also. So now we know that to calculate the volume of a box, we need to multiply height, length and breadth. So we are doing the same to calculate the volume and then the volume is getting printed and we did the same for box2 also and the volume got printed accordingly. So at first we are going to print, they are going to multiply this 5 into 6 into 7. So the respective value will get printed accordingly. So now let us go for the execution of the code. So we are going for the compile and run option. So for box 1 the value is 210 and it is quite obvious because 5 into 6 into 7 is equal to 30 into 7 that is 210. And in this case 10 into 12 that is 120 into 13 that is 1560. So in this way the values have got calculated. So this program depicts that this particular class box containing three variables, member variables under this class defined under the public scope and these member variables have got initialized when we defined objects, two objects box1 and box2 under the class box and then after initializing all these member variables we calculated the volume here as these variables were under the public scope so they could have been accessed using object named dot membership operator and in this way the volume got printed for both both box 1 and box 2 so now let us let us execute the same program in gnu plus plus so here is the output for us so g plus plus will be the respective compiler name so here it is proc 61 dot cpp minus o a dot exe will be the output file name so now let me execute the code after compilation so compilation has got completed i'm just executing a dot exe and we are getting the same output as we got in case of dip c plus plus uh, program compilation output so in this way this concept has become clear that how the member variables of a certain class can be initialized through the objects and using the dot membership operator. Thanks for watching this video.